Ahoy hoy! Today's episode is just going to be a few updates on some previous things that we've been talking about. First of all, just for the obvious reasons, I got my hair cut finally. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I was actually meaning to do this before I did my first video with the face showing, but I uh, timing just didn't work out and couldn't quite get to the uh, salon, barber shop, wherever, in time. So I just did it myself. I wanted to get it just down about that long, but uh, it's a lot easier to shave your head uh, personally than it is to get it that long, <laughs> even with clippers. So yeah, that's what I did. Also, uh, because it keeps coming up in video, in video comments, and I'd love to say it doesn't bother me, but of course it does. Um, uh, my appearance is uh, <laughs> a common topic and I thought I'd cover at least a couple of problems. First of all, um, I keep getting comments that wash your face. Um, it is washed. I don't really understand where that comes from. If it's like, is it this scar over here that maybe looks like it's something a problem? Yeah, there's a scar over here on the side of my face uh, where I got bit by a spider a few years ago that kind of hollowed out a big, like, puffed up to about that big. But yeah, hollowed out a hole. I mean, that's a thing. Uh, and also, uh, this right here had a baby tooth, I guess a child tooth that never fell out until I was like 25-ish. And well, it didn't fall out then either. It just started falling apart and disintegrating. I suppose because it was never supposed to be there in the first place. It just kind of died. Um, I've got every... I'll, all the teeth I'm supposed to have, but also have a gap here where the root of that one still exists because when it started to fall apart, I grabbed a pair of needle nose pliers and ripped on it as hard as I can. And I wish I could say I was joking, but I'm not. It didn't hurt, but just, you know. Anyway, so that's these two anomalies. <laughs> Again, I've said this before, the dark circles, it's just how I look. All right. So now that we've addressed those things and I don't ever have to address them again, I'd love to say that people, I'm not a person that cares too much about my appearance. This much is true. And someone has said that in the comments as well. Um, it's, it's weird though. When people start bringing it up constantly, you start thinking to yourself, huh, is it me? Is there a problem? I'm not going to stop doing in front of the camera videos, but it is an interesting thing for people to focus on. I guess it's never going to stop bothering me, but at least I can address the concerns and never have to comment about it again. I'm sure I will. Anyway, um, so there's that. I want to get that out of the way. Uh, also, the more important thing I wanted to talk about today are the two GoFundMes uh, that we were been dealing with in the last couple months. First of all, the SCP Legal Fund. Let's just... SCP Legal Fund. There we go. Donation link. Well, no, that's not technically it, but click, click, click. All right. So the SCP Legal Fund is $161,022. They are getting uh, donations on a pretty regular basis. Uh, most people <laughs> feel like they have to inform you. By the way, did you know that Matt Pat from Game Theory did a video about... Yes, I know. It's fine. I know. I know. You know, <laughs> tell me about it anymore. I've, I've got it. Yeah. I caught that. I caught that before. <laughs> I caught that before anyone told me about it, actually. <laughs> but, uh, 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 but our legal fund is doing 161000 There is an update on that issue. Um, let me see if I can grab the information real quick. Scroll, 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 scroll. Yeah. Um, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, the Russian branch. Yeah, it's a Reddit post about the Russian matter. The Russian branch has made a post a couple of days ago on the Russian social network with some news about the lawsuit. The Federal Anti-Monopoly Service has finally accepted it on February 28th after sufficient evidence has been provided in accordance with their requirements and a session is scheduled to take place on March 11th. Let's hope there will be good news after that. So essentially, um... The first step of the legal case has gotten underway. Um, in 
an ideal world, this is as much as they ever have to do, but it's not going to be what they all they ever have to do. Anyone who's willing to take it this far is willing to take it to court. So we'll see how well that goes. There is one other fundraiser that we've been talking about. And we should probably, oh, no, that's not the right one. Repair in a broken gear SCP. There we go. All right. And uh, this one is doing a little bit less well. See, the uh, SCP Legal Fund's got about $161,000, which is probably enough for the Russian legal system to be dealt with properly. Um, Gears, the guy who has, or had, well, has kidney cancer, even though they've, has had his surgery, uh, they removed the cancer. And uh, most of these things look good, but it, of course, cancer is one of those things is like, you don't get free of cancer. You're never cancer free. You're just, uh, you got a prognosis of say five years is, you know, 50% of recurrence or something like that. So I don't know what his numbers are, but it looks like it was a slightly aggressive cancer. And by slightly, I mean fairly aggressive out of a, a rating of four. Uh, his was a three on the aggressive scale, which means if it comes back, it's going to be uh, probably a, a bigger problem and also it could very well come back. So there's that to keep in mind. I yesterday posted a tweet um, because the legal fund is just a skosh under 50,000. We're at 29,950 right now out of 20,000. So I'd love to at least see that last $50 go in there. Uh, there'll be a link to it in the description below. Anyway, those are our updates. The SCP Legal Fund is doing great. The uh, lawsuit is moving forward as much as it can, or I should say the legal case is moving forward as much as it can move forward. Gears has had his cancer removed from his kidney. It's apparently quite aggressive as a cancer and could very well come back. Uh, he's only raised 30000 to, you know... <laughs> deal with uh, medical bills and other bills, incidental costs along the way. And finally, I'm overly touchy about my appearance, apparently. I don't really think that's true, but yeah. I don't know if overly touchy. You can only take so much before you start making a comment back, I guess. That's it for the day. And don't worry, this hair uh, grows pretty quickly. I think by Tuesday, I'll have at least some st more than stubble going on. <laughs> right now, I look... Uh, like a cross between maybe Uncle Fester and Kingpin from Daredevil. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Just a few updates. Wanted to get those out of the way. If you like the video, scroll down, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then, while you're down there, take a look at the products in the carousel. We got this poster over here. We got this t-shirt right here. You're wrong about... Yeah, I'm lifting this up even though there's a... Uh, <laughs> even though the uh, microphone is on it. Um, got this t-shirt right here. I'm gonna thinking about maybe putting a new poster up over here, either my design or somebody else's SCP design. So keep an eye out for that in future videos. I might not actually address it. No, I'll definitely address it. That's just how I am. Um, <laughs> I, can't let, I can't let a small detail go by without me mentioning something about it, like my tooth or my... <laughs> <laughs> my dark circles or my scar here on my face. Um, <laughs> let it go without saying anything. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, buy some, <laughs> buy some more of the, uh, buy some more of the uh, merch if you really like it. There's some. I'm like I've said before. I bought versions for myself, and they are very high quality works. I'm waiting for my hoodie. Actually, I think it's going to take a little while for it to get here, but. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. And one more thing. Uh, all of my Patreon backers get on the screen for the videos, but I have decided to institute two new Patreon backer pledges just for people who want to go above and beyond. Right now, I don't have any explicit benefits for you, but I had one in mind. Anyone who's pledging more than $20, which right now we've got Manuel Noltorp and Agent William 
Steele. Yes, Agent William Steele. These are both pledging at $25. So if you pledge more than $20, you get your name read on the video. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for watching. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Tuesday.